And uh, you know, I think what makes the Michigan State game such a big rivalry is when you know both teams are really good. And uh, but you know the, the team up north game, uh, you know I don't regardless of records and all that. Uh, it's a you know it's a big game regardless, and it's going to be a war. And uh, no matter what the records are, so. What do you think of the music playing nonstop? Used to it, <laughs> year three of it. it yeah, I mean, we've been that's we've been playing that it's time for war song since Coach Myers' first year. So. Uh, Everyone knew it was coming, and we're pretty used to it now. So, are you surprised he didn't know he didn't know who sang it? He just knew he liked it. The, does that surprise you? Not one single bit. <laughs> he probably has no idea who LL Cool J is. That's what uh, he said. Yeah. yeah, no, no idea. Do you, uh, you think he does it to motivate you or irritate you? Probably both. <laughs> Honestly, agitate, right? Agitate. So, Curtis Samuel saw his first offensive touches in three games. Obviously, Dontre going out in the Michigan State game, he comes into the kick return game. From your perspective, captain, you know, leading, leading the blocking, how does he, how do his contributions kind of make you guys a stronger unit? Um, yeah, he can, he, he can do a lot of things. Uh, you know, he's a very dynamic athlete, very explosive. And, uh, you know, stepping up, he's, you know, had some good kick returns. And, uh, you know, putting the ball in his hands offensively really allows, a, you know, a, a different weapon. And, uh, you know, you obviously have Zeke and Dontre and Jalen and them. But, uh, you know, Curtis is just as explosive as them and powerful. And uh, so, you know, we've seen him do it in practice, you know, all, all fall camp and all the season. So uh, I think these next few years you'll see a lot of, you know, Curtis Samuel, a lot of, a lot of big plays. Jeff, so. is it, if, if lately, has this offense felt like it's in full bloom, meaning, you know, you've got an H-back now who's operating pretty well in Jalen Marshall. You've, you've, they're throwing the ball the tight end. Uh, over the middle and stuff. I mean, Ezekiel had a 100 yard Saturday. Uh, JT ran, I mean, had over 300 yards total offense again. Does it, do y'all feel like y'all are in striders or a lot more to come? I mean, what's the sense of that? Um, I think, you know, no, no matter what defenses give us, we're always going to have an answer for it. Uh, I think it's kind of where we're at now, you know, running the ball, throwing the ball, you know, JT making plays. Uh, you know, we have so many dynamic athletes on the offense. Uh, you know, we can kind of, you know, do what we want and, mm -hmm. you know, also do what the defense gives us, uh, you know, which is, you know, sometimes in football, you know, consists a lot of just doing, you know, what the defense will give you. And uh, so, yeah, I think we're at that point where, you know, really no matter what we got to do, we can execute it and, uh, you know, execute it well. So Was well, there ever a sure? sense last year when y'all were in that game and all of a sudden they're coming back? Were you stunned? Were you surprised? I mean, you know, they were y'all were pr pretty big favorite last year and stuff. And uh, I'm just wondering, what did last year's game teach y'all about a rivalry? Um, I mean, I think it's just you know, no matter what the records are, no matter what you know, what they're ranked or whatever, it's going to be a big game. And it's been like that way, you know, way before I got here, and it's going to be like that way after I leave. And uh, so I think that's you know the biggest thing we got to go, you know, take going into this week is it's be a big game regardless of the rankings or what people say say it is and you know the spread and all that you know and you, know, you can't pay attention to all that when it comes to this game so have an idea what your emotions are going to be like your last game in the state oh, how do you want to think about that right now <laughs> Since, uh, has it flown right. by though yeah it, it it honestly has uh you know especially you know i got a text from coach Tressel, uh you know last night and uh so, you know just thinking back to you know Four years ago, you know, when I showed up here, it's just crazy how uh, how quick it goes. And uh, you know, it's been awesome, though, man. I love it here. You know, I have no regrets. So. What did Tech say? Oh, next Can question. Was no. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there a uh, stage that you reach where their distractions? There's so many distractions they kind of even themselves all out. I'm wondering about Michigan in particular. There's so many questions up there right now. Of course, about the coach's future and things like that. Does it affect the players at all, or is it already they've got enough on their plate? They're already thinking about the game, executing the game plan. Them up there or us? Yeah. Um, you know, honestly, uh, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't really know what it's like inside that locker room up there. I don't really I don't know many of the guys up there, so I really haven't talked to anyone. You're a typical player. I mean, when you right. I mean, definitely. Yeah. Guys. I mean, obviously, turning on the TV every day and you know seeing you know your coach being you know. Right under such fire and stuff. Uh, you know, obviously, I think, you know, it obviously affects you a little bit. Um, to the extent, I don't know how much. Uh, you know, I don't know what the lock, you're like, I don't know what the locker room is up there. Uh, I don't know the feeling, you know, the, the, the players have towards the coach, so. Uh, but even for you guys, at some point, the college football playoff rankings and finishing with one loss, winning streaks, blah, 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 after a certain point, 
does it all kind of like it's way too much and it doesn't right i mean it's just one of those things you know you can't control it so you really can't worry about it you know the only thing you control is go out and you know play the best you can every week and uh so you know those those college rankings and all that that stuff's all going to take care of itself and uh I mean, we can't. We don't make those, and you know, the only thing we can do is go play as hard as we can, and uh, so I think that's what we've been doing. What do you, what do you know about? What do you expect that you'll get from them? Um, like, what, what Michigan team do you think shows up? Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, I just hope it's a good game. You know, it's my last game in the in the horseshoe. Uh, so you know, obviously, we're just gonna go out and you know play as hard as we can, and uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, you know, hopefully, it'll turn out in our favor. Jeff, when you think about. When you think about this is your senior day, what is it that gets you? Is it that there were some ups and downs that you had, you started with one coach and you're at a different one, or is it just that you loved it so much and you don't want it to end? What is it? Probably I just loved it so much I don't want it to end. Uh, you know I love college, man. Uh, you know I love Ohio State. Uh, <laughs> you know I, yeah, I honestly just don't want it to end. Uh, but you know it's been a good ride, and uh, you know all good things come to an end and uh, move on to the next chapter. It's just it's going by so fast too. Seems just like yesterday. I showed up for you know the first day of class, and you know Braxton and I had to be. We were, we were so cold. We called Coach Gillum and made it drive us to class because we were like we ain't walking to class in this. And uh, so yeah, it's just gone by so fast, man. And uh, you no, know, but you know, like I said, I have no regrets, man. I loved it every, every minute of it. So have you maximized the college experience? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Is clock management going to be a focal point for you guys? Because obviously, late in the games last year, you know, Carlos Braxton, you, know, right. you guys score quickly, right, and allow the other team to come back. Is that going to be a something to focus on during the week of practice? Honestly, I don't know the answer to that. I think that's kind of above my above my pay grade. Uh, I think the coaches, you know, they'll figure that out, and you know. I, I don't really call the plays. I just <laughs> I just run them. But uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff, going back so, to yeah. Rusty's question um, about just you've been here when a coach is under fire a little bit. How do you think if you could put yourself in Michigan's players' shoes, you would approach? Would there be any difference playing if you knew your coach was on the hot seat? And, and I mean, how would that impact the way you would approach playing that game? Yeah, I mean, like like I said, uh, you know, I don't know the locker room, but if, if they do like, you know, like the coach and, you know, like how he operates and everything, then, yeah, they are going to be, you know, out there playing for him and, you know, playing to try and keep his, you know, his job there. And, uh, but then, it, like I said, I mean, it could be, you know, the opposite. I mean, maybe, you know what I'm saying, maybe they just don't care. Uh, you just really don't know. Uh, so it's all kind of, you know, the mindset of the players and, you know, how they think the, you know, whole, you know, kind of the whole program's run with the head coach, uh, which I don't know. So, uh, I mean, yeah, they can use it in you know a few different ways. So. Jeff, you've what had you your share of, of, of adversity personally this year with the foot and not getting the ball up time. How would you kind of evaluate your season personally? Uh, I'm having a pretty good season. Uh, you know, we're, we're winning, so I can't complain. Uh, you know, and just doing my job, whatever the coaches ask me to do. Uh, you know, I've kind of, that's kind of how I've always operated and, you know, really never complain and just kind of go about your business and keep your mouth shut and good things will happen. And uh, I've learned that over the over the years, so uh, it's kind of what I've been doing. Has it been everything you'd hoped it would be this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're, we're like we said, we started the season, you know, competing for championships in November, and, you know, we're right in the right in the heat of the thing, and uh, so, you know, we're going obviously going to be there, and not this weekend, but next weekend we'll be in Indianapolis, and then, you know, after that, we'll see what the rankings, what they can do for us, and uh, go from there. So. What kind of psychological vice does this put you all in, though? You've clinched the Big East. Tie, or excuse me, the Big Ten East title. I keep saying that B1G in my head. The Big Ten East title. Right. You play for the championship next next week. This game. How would you explain what this game is about this week and what mo you know the motivation? Um, I think I mean it's the game. Uh, you know, it's kind of that was kind of installed in me when I first got here, and uh, it's kind of been that way since you know the whole way. Uh, you know, it's just you know kind of the biggest game of the year. Um, <clears throat> And you know, I think that's you know, it's important. It's always been like that here, and like I, it'll be like that when I leave. And uh, so, I mean, I don't think there's any kind of looking forward to anything. I think it's all on this week, and uh, we'll worry about next week, next week. So, mm -hmm. all right, thanks, what, do, what do you know about Michigan's defense at this point, Jeff? No one's asked that. Um, it's the I'll only just... time we'll get to talk to people this week. So, if you don't know and want to make something up. <laughs> um, I know Frank Clark. I don't think is playing. Um, he's a very good player for them. Uh, you know they have they have some athletes on defense, like like a lot of uh, Division One football teams do. 
and uh, you know they've had some success this year and uh, so you know we're gonna have to bring it we're gonna have to bring our A game it's gonna be a war uh, like it always is and uh, so we'll see.